Well, it's mm. been a rainy end to the weekend, <laughs> and we aren't done with that weather just yet. No. You're doing a little stretch. Yeah, well, you know what? We're going to have some of this tomorrow, but now we're going to tack on the possibility that a few of these storms tomorrow could turn gusty and severe. I so, heard that. I heard yeah. that in the Weather Center yeah, earlier. We're Maybe. Just, yeah, yeah, we're just piling on. Well, you know what? I would be prepared. Better to be prepared and then not need to be prepared. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, outside, shall we? We Let's also have it. a little patchy fog forming oh. in some places. We're going to Bethlehem. That is where we have wet roads. Roads, and we also have some fog developing. This is going to be a concern perhaps early in the morning, and the storms tomorrow are not coming into the afternoon. So, this is something you may have to deal with for your morning commute. All right, let's go ahead and take a look across the city. The tops of the buildings already kind of being obscured in some of the low cloud deck that's moved through Center City. Uh, this is the visibilities right now. Not bad at Philadelphia International, but go to Mount Pocono where it's only eight tenths of a mile and into Allentown where it is two and a half miles. So, we will see some of this fog setting. Up in different areas tonight. A lot of moisture out there, and the winds are very, very light. Uh, 74 right now in Philadelphia. That's about as warm as we've been all day long. Didn't make it out of the 70s. Some places didn't make it out of the 60s today. 65 right now in Allentown and Millville. You're looking at 73 degrees in South Jersey. Now, Tomorrow, we're going to tack on to the rain and the possibility of those afternoon storms, the chance of some of them turning severe. This is going to be in the mid to late afternoon through the mid to late evening. Damaging winds are the main threat. We will have some pockets of very heavy rain with a localized flood threat, and your evening commute could be slow depending on where the storms set up. This is the outlook. It is a marginal risk, which is level one out of five, so it doesn't sound too great. Nonetheless, we have a very soupy atmosphere, and we have a cold front coming at us tomorrow. Tomorrow in the afternoon. This includes the entire area with the exception of any place closer to the shore. Doesn't mean you won't get a strong storm, just means that is not the most favorable area right now. Storm Scan 3 is showing the last of these scattered showers making their way through the area tonight. Not such a big deal. You widen it out and you're thinking, okay, we're in the clear, but no, there it is. You can see that swirl over Chicago and then you can actually see a line extending on out through Ohio. That's the cold front which has been parked in the upper mid. West for days. Finally, everything has shifted east and it is released to come our way. Storm Scan 3, this is our um, water vapor imagery, and you can see the orange, which is very, very dry air. Then you see these blues and whites, which is very, very moist air. You can make out the swirl of that storm system and you see them butting up against each other. That is the recipe for something strong to happen. So let's roll through what is going to happen. The remainder of the night, a spotty shower storm, that's out of here. We're going to be looking at skies fairly clear. Cloudy tomorrow, but here we go in the afternoon. 3:30, storms already popping up. The cold front approaches 5:30, storms are popping up. Some of them severe. 7:30, still looking at storms in Philadelphia and South Jersey, and then down the shore by the time that we get to uh, late night. And then look at this. Tuesday we start with clouds, but here's the good news. We're going to clear out and get the sunshine back. So it's just eyes to the sky tomorrow in the afternoon and evening. 83 tomorrow, 81 on Tuesday as we clear out, and then a stretch of upper 70s and low 80s with a lot of sunshine to follow. Joe? Tommy, thank you so much.